work in the life insurance department and I want to talk a little bit about five. I know it's uh, where you make all your money. The, uh, when you're done, Helsinki, you get uh, you know, to come see me about life insurance. So I have life insurance with all kinds of carriers. And I want, what I wanted to just mention to everybody is that we have a brand new tool that's called Buy. Buy life insurance. Okay, big deal. Uh, it submits right from the, the quote. You can submit a case within seconds. She's filling in for Michael Collins for uh, her Medicare Advantage plan changes and prescription drug uh, Debra. So I want to thank you. I see a lot of familiar faces, but I see a lot of new faces. So it becomes something for really every part of your portfolio. We have standalone dental, vision, and hearing. We have Medicare Advantage. We have supplement. And one of the things that we really would like you to do as we get into our plans is we have a buyback this year. So why not help people spend that buyback and? You know, if it's a cancer policy, if it's a life, whatever, there's some kind of option here. And grant is $25, uh, yearly checkup completed by June 30th of 2025. So these are things that you can check in with your members. Uh, who is Grant is currently for Jefferson uh, you know, we are strong and steady. I've heard a lot of parents, and they're traveling in the team, Jim, Tom, and I, uh, carriers are down, downsized their plan, they're scaling back, uh, certain carriers that are leaving the market have been, uh, no sketch, we're not scaling back. In fact, we are building and expanding. We are now in 20 counties in Pennsylvania. We went from 15 to 20 counties. Uh, <laughs> But that facility is, is listed and it showed up in our hospital. Where the rubber leaves the road, if you will, is is uh, in the ancillary benefits. Okay, we team all of our ancillary benefits in this crazy year coming up. We are happy to expand on some, and some took a little step back. Include, uh, I live in Pennsylvania, I'm from Rhode Island, and I apologize. I've talked this before. I've talked about national rest stops. So they travel across state lines. Even our HMOs travel across state lines. Our HMOs do not need control. Our former associates who worked at the building, this is where I ended up only about six months ago. So I have a lot of experience learning a couple new things, but I've been in the business long enough to understand when I see something good and something bad. And I'm seeing a lot of good, I promise. Um, has anybody here ever heard of devoted health? Just out of curiosity, did I'm excited to get perspective from Nevada just standing here and like, 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 so on our value and our premier plan. Delaware, West Virginia, New York. Our health plan, we have um, right about five million members that we service at the health plan level, and then at Highmark Health with our other subsidiaries like United Concordia, um, our TPA business, we have uh, a little north of seven million members that we service. So pretty big outfit from a health plan perspective. Uh, we also, in the Pittsburgh market, have uh, a health system that is uh, uh, Another our competitive advantage, when you put someone with an independence for cost pay, you know you're giving them peace of mind. So before I get into the specific <coughs> updates for 2025, there are some updates that you all should be aware of. Just making sure that you, know, you do your due diligence as you are offering these products to the members, make sure that it is the right thing. We want to make sure that companies are looking for the member to be in the right plan, but also ensuring that the plan is going to continue to be sustainable and predictable premiums over time. Because you don't want to have to be switching that to You know, you send your kids to the pediatric specialist, right? You want folks that are really tuned to your need, your age. So um, our whole team is trained.